Peter, as we talk about sort of the, the military options here, um, sanctions have now been imposed personally on Vladimir Putin from the U.S. and from um, and from y the EU. I wonder, can you talk a little bit about what what especially President Biden hopes to gain from these sanctions, and also what's the next step if things continue to deteriorate and these sanctions don't change um, the, the Russia's calculations and their actions? Yeah, I think going after President Putin is a big step. It's something that wasn't done even during the Cold War. It's traditionally, you don't sanction heads of state. That's, it has been done before, but usually in, in, in very you know limited circumstances with rogue states, not with something uh, as large as, as, as Russia. And so what they're saying is that, uh, they're making a statement. They're going after Putin where they think he is most vulnerable. And that is, of course, the ill-gotten gains that he is believed to have stashed in various uh, places around the world. Now, the trick here is that President Putin knows that this is what the West would or could do. He's known that for weeks, and he's already figured that into his calculus. And when he made the decision to go into Ukraine, he already figured that this is a trade-off he was willing to live with. And so while these uh, sanctions may serve as a punishment and maybe uh, you know, increase the cost of this action by President Putin, they're clearly not a deterrent. They're clearly not going to stop him at this point. In the, in the process. What you heard President Biden say a couple of days ago uh, was, I think a day ago, actually, it seems like forever, uh, was that he was going to give it a month or so to see how these sanctions, uh, you know, are affecting uh, Russia. And we'll see whether that changes the calculus. But at the moment, this is something President Putin expected. This is something he's willing to live with. And so that's not going to change the action on the ground, it doesn't look like.